Hey guys, what's up and welcome back to my channel. Today I have this flapper look for you guys. It's inspired by the 1920s, obviously, and it's super easy and all drugstore. So if you wanna see how to do it, then just keep watching. So first I'm gonna go in with my CoverGirl True Blend Foundation. This is the shade M70 L30, mixing them together and just applying that all over my face. Then I'm taking my CoverGirl Vitalist Healthy Concealer and going underneath my eyes, on my forehead, on top of my eyes, above my lip, and on my chin a little bit, and then blending all of that out. I'm really kind of going for like a flawless, almost like doll-like look, so you wanna make sure your foundation is full coverage. And I love this concealer. I would say it's actually not that full coverage, but the foundation did a good job, so I didn't have to do too much work with the concealer. Now I'm going in with my Maybelline Fit Me Loose Finishing Powder, and this is in the shade Fair Light, and I'm really, really packing that onto my skin. I feel like with most of my Halloween looks, I want my skin to be really, really, really set so that when I go in and blend shadows or whatever, everything blends really flawlessly, and you get kind of an airbrush look. It might feel like a lot of makeup, but I promise it'll look perfect in the end. Now I'm taking my BH Cosmetics Contour Palette and just contouring pretty normally. I would say there's nothing I really did here that was any different than normal contouring. So just going below my cheekbones, on my chin, temples, and forehead, and my nose. <laughs> Now I'm taking my big fluffy brush and buffing all of that contour out. I feel like this is really what helps things look super airbrushed because you're kind of just blending it all together. Now I'm taking my NYX Ombre Blush in Instaflame and my Makeup Geek Blush in Desire, packing it on the back of my hand to make sure I don't deposit too much product. And then I'm just going in and doing the blush in just a circle, circular motion. I'm not pulling it up my cheekbone, just concentrating it on the apple of your cheek, which honestly looks kind of weird, but as soon as you get the costume and like the whole look going, it looks perfect. Then I'm taking my liner from Pixie and using that to create a little beauty mark. Now taking my CoverGirl Ultra Fine Brow Pencil in rich brown and going in. And basically how I'm doing this is I'm just creating a line in my brows and then I'm brushing the top part of my brow down to kind of like shrink it and make it look smaller. It's probably easier to watch than for me to explain, but this is how I kind of achieve those thin brows without covering my brows. If you've got really thick brows, you might have to cover them with glue or whatever way you like to block your brows out, but this is just the way I did it. I kind of just shrunk them by brushing up and down to make them look a lot smaller, if that makes sense. Now I'm going in with my Rimmel magnifies spice edition on the eyes and taking the kind of lighter orangey shade and using that as my transition color. Then going in with this shade, going all over my lid because we are gonna do a smoky eye. So I'm just going all over my lid and then blending upward. And I just kind of go shadow to shadow, really making sure to blend, making sure everything looks right and not, not blended, if that makes sense. Now I'm taking my CoverGirl Chocoholic palette and taking the kind of black shade, I would say it's like charcoal, and really kind of concentrating that on the outer corner and in the crease. Now I'm going in with my BH Cosmetics Warm Stone palette and mixing that kind of charcoal shade with the black shade from Makeup Geek, which is called Corrupt and really darkening up the eye. You could totally leave it the way that it is. I just really wanted like a really black shadow to come in and like really darken the eye up. Now I'm taking that same liner from Pixie. This is their collaboration with Whaley and going underneath my eye in one line of my waterline and then packing in that charcoal color and then using this black color to really smoke out my bottom lash line. Then I'm going back in with this purple shade from the Rimmel palette and smoking out it out even more and really kind of like adding that purple just to like the bottom of that smoke. Then going back in with the liner from Pixie and using the liquid liner side 
to line my eyes, then curling my eyelashes. And then I went in with this Rimmel London mascara. It's called Wonderfully Real. I did not like it. I couldn't, I like actually couldn't use it. So I went in with more trusted mascara, which is my CoverGirl Flourish by Last Lash Blast. Wow, guys, I'm sorry. I'm tripping over my words. Hopefully you don't want to kill me. Then I'm taking these cream lashes. I feel like they're like $2. I don't, I, I think I got them from like icing or somewhere in this Kiss Strip Lash Adhesive and applying these lashes. Then taking the almost white shade from the Rimmel palette, popping that on my inner corner and brow bone. And then going in with CoverGirl's Major Shade Lipstick in Sweetest Taboo. And I feel like the shade is perfect. The way I'm doing my lips is basically I want to concentrate the like the pout in the center of my lips. So dragging down a line and then take basically drawing a triangle to make it seem like my lip is the biggest in the middle, if that makes sense. And then kind of the same thing at the top, I'm drawing three little lines to where I want the peaks of my lips to be. And then connecting those, those dots basically. And the trick basically that I found is to not pull the sides of your lipstick out too far. It's gonna look a little strange because you don't usually wear your lipstick like that, but I feel like this really pulls the look in. Now I'm taking my wig. I'm pretty sure I got this at Party City. It's probably like $20 max, 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 max. Brushing it out and I find like I can throw this wig around and it's it like brushes out and it's fine later. Then I'm just adding this sequin headband, which come on, it's the 1920s. And then taking this beautiful feather, sticking that in my headband. <laughs> And then I've got my cigarette holder, of course. Come on, you can't have this look without that. And that's it. This look is honestly super easy. I could throw this together if I wasn't filming. It would take me like literally 30 minutes to do. It's super easy, super fun. Everybody knows what you are. And I hope you guys liked it. If you did, please give this video a thumbs up and you can subscribe to my channel to see more videos like this. I love you guys so much. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.